Well, I think people who are your fans definitely want to know how you feel about it because they look to you for a lot of answers. That's why they listen to your music, and a lot of your music is very abstract. If anybody's looking, looking for us or at us for answers, then they're in more trouble than when they started. I don't know if it's answers, answers. more of like it's maybe the same with us. We're, looking, we're looking for... Yeah, the point for us is to keep it open to interpretation because we want everybody to look at it and come up with their own thing. It's kind of to evoke most, some kind most of... Most of the songs are personally about how screwed up I am lyrically in some ways. It had nothing to do with answers. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, all art is really open for interpretation and that's the beauty of it, that you derive from it what it means to you. But, but that's what we're trying to say. If we explain it, if we explain everything, if we explain like the, what the what the words mean, if we explain what the songs mean, if we explain what the name of the album is, then people don't have to think for themselves to come up with their own explanations for these things. Fellatio. Probably one of the most reviled figures in America for the last half century. You know, what, you know, to come at him in any way is to sort of touch a flame. Personally, I think that anyone can formulate their own views oh, on any absolutely. of our songs. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. When I but it was to, in the material. That, right. Yeah. When I listen yeah. to that song, it really doesn't remind me of Charles Manson. It's more reminiscent of trying to save our planet, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. trying to focus on the issues. Maybe Charles Manson uh, has a point. There's a hell of a lot of things that I say <laughs> in interviews that are totally quoted from him, and people end up agreeing with me. I don't agree with killing anybody. I don't agree with going and, you know, slashing anybody's throats or anything, writing shit on the wall and that's not what I'm into that's not the side of the Charles Manson that I'm into it's more of his ideas and his thoughts on society this is very LA with the, the, the snakeskin pants and the pointy boots so yeah is an homage to the uh, the poison and the skid row era of uh, your city's past no it's an homage to whatever the fuck I like to do <laughs> how about your hair is that an homage to like uh, yeah. Yeah, to our manager have you, seen, have you seen Chopper? Do, do you um, color your hair? Yeah, have you seen Chopper? The film oh, Chopper? Very good. Have you got Chopper. gray hairs? Is that why you color your hair? All right. Do you know most guys in GQ magazine have your hairstyle? I don't read GQ. I, I know. swear to God. How do you know? Because I read GQ. I'm in GQ. Damn. Check me out, dude. <laughs> Check me out. Like, you've got this style going on. But it isn't very popular these days to criticize the American uh, government. Are you afraid that it... Um, there might at some point be some kind of uh, self-censorship in the band? Self-censorship? Never self-censorship, no. We would not censor ourselves. I'm telling you everything I feel right now. I could be political and say, you know, the nice things and make you think that I'm, you know, different, but I'm telling you the truth, so I'm not, I, I, I would never self-censor and I hope no one else in my band would either. But for instance, uh, burning uh, or show ashes of an American flag in a video, would you ever do? do that? That's not how I feel. We don't hate America. We live in America. I love America. The government is a little corrupt, like it is in every other country. I would like to live. I mean, you could live somewhere and not respect the government. There's certain artistic integrity, but then when you reach a certain level and popularity, you know, you also have to keep up a certain image and a certain. You do. Since when? If you, de if you depend on perception to direct what you're going to do, then you're going to be perceiving yourself through other people's eyes rather than through your own. We don't. Period. Fellatio. Violent pornography. pornography. Yes. Uh, I had one question. There was some of that on the TV this morning I was watching. Yeah? Pay-per-view. Okay. Violent pornography. <laughs> okay. Very violent. Oh, that's all you mean real violent. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I have one question, what is Nabisco? Nabisco is a company. Company. Okay. They make uh, like crackers, chips, that kind okay. of stuff. You never heard of Nabisco? You don't have it out here? No. Really? You have. Okay. Yeah, you have? Oh, sorry. He's I a better know. consumer than you are. <laughs> um, well, if you could describe in a few words the recording process for this album, how would you do it? few words. <laughs> That's it. There you go. I described in a few words. That would tell me. How was it? Well, I have the views you can get. I, I think I want a little bit more than that. It was fun. And, 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 uh, 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 Okay, okay, I saw you. See, everyone knows you. We always ask every band to choose a video. And you've chosen, you've chosen the Buggles. Video killed the radio star, Surge. 
Why have you chosen this video? Because it did. Because video killed the radio star? Correct. Because when you were growing up, radio was... Um, ra no, video came around, you know, my time. I'm not that old. Uh, and uh, it's, it's cool, but it, it, took, it took a lot of uh, attention away from radio and it took a lot of attention away from live performance. And a lot of people watch, you know, video shows, but they don't listen to news, they don't research stuff, they don't know what the hell's going on around the world. And I don't appreciate that. You've given a certain amount of songs off the back of a successful album, Room to Breathe, but in, a, in, in less of a spotlight would steal this album, didn't you? You know, here's some extra stuff left over from these sessions, whatever, but it almost feels a bit po apologetic when you do rarity records or outtake records, you know, sometimes. Steel was never an outtake record. It still isn't. It's mm. one of my favorite records. Yeah. We've and put we, we get letters from fans. I mean, we, as a band, consider Steel to be one of our records. You have to do a ton of press all the time. Is there a lot of stuff you guys get tired of? Yes. Be honest, please. Yes. Feel free. Yeah? Yes. We do the press out of respect to the press and journalists and, uh, you know, stations. And, and we we enjoy some fans. fans. Yeah. It's, it's a compliment to us that so many people are interested in our band, you know, and um, it's an outlet for us anyway, which is the music. And, you know, they're interested in it, so we take it as a compliment. The only thing is that we are complimented in every city we go. You know what I mean? To put it in a nice way. And yeah, sometimes it becomes a little bit too much, overwhelming, you know, when your life is consumed by things like that. But it's just a part of our ritual that we have to do. You know, there's a lot of people that uh, have jobs that are a lot more difficult than ours, and we're very appreciative of that.